has many environmental and economic benefits. And it's everywhere. It's so abundant and has good mechanical strength. And wood has been used as construction material for thousands of years. And today, in this talk, let's rethink wood. My name is Tian Li. I'm a postdoc researcher in a research team led by Professor Liang Minghu from the University of Maryland. Let's take a close look at the wood. This is a picture of many trees. Well, let's take a closer look. And this is a typical wood block. And let's take a look at what a wood block looks like. It's kind of brownish and yellowish. If we take a really close look into the massive horror structure of wood, enabled by the technology named um, scanning electron microscopy, we'll be able to see all these numerally aligned micron sensor channels. These channels, they are aligned along the wood growth direction and they're responsible to transport water, ions, and nutrients from the root of the trees to the top of the leaves as part of the photosynthesis process. If you look closely, the diameter of all these channels is about like tens of micron. So that is actually a diameter similar to a hair. So wood is actually made of this uh, many, many aligned micron-sized channels with a diameter similar to our hair. Let's take a look at this wood block again. As a matter of fact, most of the wood, most of the wood acts like a color, brownish, yellowish. And why is that? Why can't it be, I don't know, for example, without any color? or even transparent. Here in the University of Maryland, we have made wood transparent. This is indeed a piece of wood. If you look closely, you can still see the rings, the patterns you typically see in the natural wood. The patterns are still there. Now, the secret recipe. Let's think about the pigment, the brownish pigment of the wood. In the first step, let's try to wash it away. We will immerse the whole the block into a chemical bath. The chemicals will go into the massive part structure of the wood and slowly dissolve the pigments away. And after this step, the wood becomes not yet transparent, it becomes white. Now why white? A white object is is reflecting all colors. And that's why it appears white. So when light shines on a wood block, it sees all these interfaces in between the wood cell channels and air and get largely reflected back. So in the second step, we will infiltrate optical refract index matching material into the channels so that light does not see these interfaces anymore. So Light does not get absorbed it because we already removed all the pigments. And it does not get scattered, reflected back because we filled the infiltration. We infiltrated the optical refract index matching materials. This way, all the light get transmitted through. We find this material of potential interest to replace the glass windows. Well, I have a cat, her name is Meow Meow, and um, what she really likes to do, especially during winter, is to find a sunny spot inside the house and, and sleep. And it really bothers her because she has to constantly wake up and move to another spot because you know, all these shadow areas and sunny spot inside the house, you keep moving throughout the day. This is a problem that you will have if you have a glass window because glass have very limited light management capability. So let's now replace this glass with transparent wood. As you can see, even though the light comes in with an angle, and the lighting inside the house model is so uniform. And why is that? Let's look at those channels again. 
will shine a green layer on the top surface of the transparent wood. And as you can see, no matter what is the incident angle, the light tends to travel along the channel alignment direction. This way, the transparent wood can help to harvest sunlight from sunrise to sunset and create a consistent lighting inside of the house. Sunlight is the best. It's, the, it's, it's good for our health, our well-being, and our productivity. With abundant sunlight in the house, you, you save the energy for turning up the ceiling light. Not only it harvests more sunlight, it also insulates heat. So during this winter time, even after you turn on the air conditioning, um, you would feel a little bit chilly, especially when you are sitting right beside the glass window, especially those single pane glass windows. And then why is that? Because the air conditioning generated heat would tend to leak through these inefficient glass windows. But transparent wood is different. It has a much lower thermal conductivity, meaning that it insulates the house much better. It keeps you warmer during the winter and cooler during the summer. So buildings actually is the largest energy sector in US, in Europe, as well as in China. And 70% um, of all the electricity produced is used to power up our buildings for the lightings and for the air conditioning. And it's responsible for 40% of all the carbon dioxide emission. It means that if we have an energy efficient light harvesting material, it potentially can help us save tens of billion dollars every year in the US alone. So transparent wood seems to be a very promising candidate to replace inefficient glass windows because it gives us a better thermal insulation as well as a better lighting, especially during daytime. So this technology is currently under commercialization by Inventive LLC. In the near future, let's hope that every household would have a much reduced utility bill and maybe a happier cap. Thank you.